Hey guys, what's going on? And as always, my name is Mr. Shank, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the Milwaukee M18 radio and charger. So, with that said, let's get into the video. we have the Milwaukee M18 radio and charger. So let's first turn it around so you guys can see the different features that it has. Okay, so here we go. We have Bluetooth connection, we have an amplifier. Now it charges batteries, but you have to have it plugged into a 110, which I will show you, but it does charge your M18 batteries. Now it has an auxiliary wire in there or a AUX wire that you can plug into any device that has any kind of uh, AUX uh, port, like your cell phone, tablet, so on and so forth. So what we ought to do is cut this bad boy open, open it up and get it out so you guys can check out the product. All right, so here we go. Let's open this bad boy up, just like this. Oh yes, look at that. Oh boy. That is one heavy animal. And then, dun da da da, there it is. A marvel that it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, the first thing that I think we ought to do is I'm going to show you guys how to put the battery in. So, let's spin the radio around. Okay, so right here in the back, you have the little flap that's for your battery connection cover. And you open it up, and as you can see here, they give you good, empty, temperature is overdone and a broken battery so that's actually pretty good advice you know i really like that i like the idea that they tell you exactly how to read your battery and all the light indicators right down here so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tip it up you'll slide it down in and you'll hear a click and that's when you know that your battery is well seated and now connected let me show you how to turn on your milwaukee m18 so right here you have your volume button right so you're just gonna end up clicking it. So let's say you'd like to have a channel. Now you can press and hold it and it will scan it and it will work its way through all the channels that come in nice and clear. I like the mix, so. Okay, um, but say if you like this channel, okay? So you have your preset button right here. So now if you click and hold it, as you can see, you have preset one. Now you can change whatever preset you'd like to have with your upper and lower buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna set the mix for the preset of one. Click it, and there you go. Let's say I'm going through the channel, so on and so forth. Oh, okay, this is where I've ended up. Press preset, takes me right back to preset one of 107.9 FM. Let's move on. Let's show you guys the Bluetooth capabilities. I think you guys are gonna like it. Big thumbs up for the Milwaukee M18. All right, guys, so now I think what's important is that we show off the Bluetooth capabilities. Now, you have the Bluetooth button, which is here. Now, if you needed to manually scan for a Bluetooth, you press and hold this button, and then it would manually scan. Now, up here, you have your mode key, okay? Now, you're gonna press that until you get to your Bluetooth, which your light right here, or your indicator icon, shows up as your Bluetooth. So, you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna press your Bluetooth, and now it should automatically already find it. And it's the M18 radio charger, is what it's gonna end up coming up as. So, as you can see, it's connecting. There it goes. Now it's connected, and then boom. 
Okay, now we'll go to my channel and let's see, how about we do shotgunning a beer in a bathtub? Okay, so. This is Mr. Shane, and I said I was gonna do it in the bathtub, but you know what, since I'm gonna do it in the bathtub, I'm gonna do it comfortably. So I got a nice little bubble bath going, and now I'm gonna show you how to shotgun beer. Let's say that you, you're enjoying it, but you don't wanna hold your phone anymore. Well, Milwaukee has thought ahead, and if you go right up here, you have a trap door, all right? And they give you the ability to set your phone right up there, nice and comfortably, so you can end up looking and watching your video. Right there. And okay. I've got my shotgun beer puncturing tool, and we're ready to do this. Okay. So, now up here, you get to set your tray. Now, if you're wondering how do you set up the Bluetooth, they give you step-by-step -step instructions also inside of this tray. They also give you a wire. Now, that's going to be for your AUX. That's just going to be plugged in to the base of your phone. Also, if you have this plugged into a 110, which I'll show you here in just a second, is inside of there you can also charge your phone. So, just like I said, it also has the capability of charging your batteries. Now, like I said, it has to be plugged into a 110 outlet. What you're gonna do is you'll pull out your cord, okay, just like this. And it has a wonderful place to store your uh, wire right here in the back that it winds up nice and tight and you're able to keep it so the wire doesn't flop all over the place or ends up tearing it or just, you know, making a mess out of these things. Plug it in, Let's see, just like this, boom. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's plugged into the radio. We got the battery right in there. Now, right on the front, as you can see right here, is the charging indicating lights. Now, as you can already tell, this battery is still fresh. I mean, it's a brand new battery. I just put it on there. So, but just to show you, as you guys can see right here, it's green, fully charged, thumbs up. This would have been, you know, if the battery would have been low, this would have been red which means it needed to be charged. But just to show you, there you go. Just like it states on the box, it will charge your batteries. All right, guys, so just as I had told you once before, it not only charges the battery, but it will also charge your cell phone. But it has to be plugged into a 110 outlet, which is a standard wall outlet. So it just so happens I have my phone. I also have the charging cable. So I think probably what we ought to do is demonstrate it charging your cell phone. All right, guys, so as you guys can see right here, now I'm going to show you my cell phone. It's at 25%, okay? And as you can see, let's just make sure you guys can see it. It's also, the radio is plugged in to an extension cord, which is leading to a 110 outlet. So you come right up here, you open your trap door, and just like I showed you, you have your USB connector right inside there. You're going to take your cell phone charging cord, Pop it right in there. Make sure it's going the right way. That usually helps. <clears throat> Come on. Right there. Okay. As you guys can see, it's all plugged in. Leading down to the cable. And I'm trying to do this one-handed. <clears throat> it will also charge your cell phone. Okay, so I think now one of the other things that we ought to discuss is the speaker system. Now, as you guys can see right here, it has beautiful large speakers. Also, you have your two tweeters right up above. This little radio right here is super powerful. It's got all the volume that you're ever going to need. So, let's get something started. Here we go. Poo -poo. So as you guys can see right there, it is plenty loud. So if you have yourself like a little party or a big party, this is the type of radio that you'd want to bring. I mean, it's plenty loud enough if you're going fishing, if you're going tailgating, if you're hanging out, if you're going camping, uh, if you're going, did I already say fishing? I might have already said fishing. I can't remember. But anyway, those are the types of things that you could take this radio on and it would be perfect for that adventure. So, now that we've got that out of the way, I just want to show you guys a little hidden feature that most people overlook, 
but I am going to give you guys the inside scoop on. All right, guys, so just as I had promised, I'm going to show you guys a feature that usually gets overlooked. Now, right up here, you're going to see a little bottle icon, little symbol up there to show you. Right underneath here is a built-in bottle cap opener. So, if you forget your bottle cap opener at the house, you can still enjoy yourself a nice, cool, refreshing drink. Mmm. Very tasty. So, let's move on to the next thing. Alright guys, so just as I had said, there's an alternative to using Bluetooth with a Milwaukee M18 radio and charger. Now, if you guys remember, they also supply an auxiliary wire, which on a lot of older phones, which I have a Galaxy S8, you just simply plug right down here at the base where there's a little port, plug your wire in, clicks in, okay? and then set it right up here into your cell phone holster which they supply now all of a sudden you have to go down you go to your mode key press it until you get to AUX or auxiliary then you come up here press turn the volume up my name is Mr. Shank and in today's video we're gonna do a little bit of a test drive on my brand new Husqvarna 555 chainsaw which all right guys, so there it is. The alternative to Bluetooth, which the Milwaukee M18 radio and charger they supply is your AUX cable that hardwires it right to any of the devices that accepts such a cable. So with that said, let's move on. All right guys, so there's only a couple more features that I'd like to show off. First is gonna be the EQ button, which is the equalizer button. Now, as you guys can see right here, okay, I've got it up midway, so let's play the video. Mm, that's tasty. Hey guys, what's going on? And as all okay, so right now, as you guys can see, there's no bass and there's no trouble. Everything is zeroed out. So, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go and press the EQ button. And I'm going to go to base, and I will show you guys full base. Ready? Here we go. And in today's video, we're going to do an unboxing oh, yeah. you can and feel review your hand. of the Fuchai Now that's cover full base. Duo. And, and that's only so halfway anyway, up. Let's take it apart. You get this awesome... Alright, so if you guys are looking for that little bit of thump, this Milwaukee M18 can easily supply all of your base wants and needs. So now let's show you guys a little bit of the treble. Okay, let's turn down the bass. We're gonna go zero out the bass, and now we're gonna go to treble. Okay, so this is zero treble. On, I gotta put this back on. Oh, let's take this out. Ooh. So as you can right. see, it's it comes with its own sleeve. Out. I just want to show you the way it looks. So it here's looks awesome. full trouble. Now the cool thing is, is everything looks really Sounds very fancy, flat. very regal, very loud. This looks, which I, I'm not sure. I, I don't believe that it's wrapped in leather, but it it has kind of like the texture. So if that's your thing, if you'd like to have a lot of trouble, then this radio, this Milwaukee M18, will supply all you needs for your trouble. So. Uh, Anyway, the way I like to listen to not only my music, but also like YouTube videos, or if you have Netflix or anything of that nature, um, you can watch that and it gives you that almost theater quality kind of thump and sound. So let's go back in. The way that I like to listen to my music is I like to have like two bars of the bass and I literally just leave the treble at zero. So, let's go back, oops, let's go back, okay. But it's just a, like a really beautiful box that they give you, plus, just look at that. I mean that nice, beautiful, like gold, is they give you this odd. So you can really hear and feel that bass. So the Milwaukee M18 radio and charger will supply all of your wonderful bass and treble needs. So, with that said, we only have one more feature to show off, and that is the clock and how to set the clock. So, let's move on. All right, guys, so we have one more feature to show off, which is the clock button. 
Now that button is located right next to your EQ or equalizer button. Now if you wanted to adjust the time on your Milwaukee M18 radio and charger, you simply press and hold and as you can see the flashing numbers indicate that it's ready to be adjusted. Now you can adjust it by using your upper or lower buttons right down here. Okay. So that adjusts your hours. Now if you press the clock button again, you can adjust your minutes. And same idea, upper or lower to adjust that as you want. Now when you're ready and you're all done, you can press and hold the clock key and it will go and you're completely done. Or it will do it automatically, one or the other, whichever you prefer. So with that said, let's move on. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for me today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys go down and hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications to stay up to date with all my new content. So, with that said, hopefully you guys take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and as always, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.